Thanks for watching TCM. I'm Alicia Malone. And now that you've delved into the darkness with Eddie Muller, we have a lovely romance to start your Sunday afternoon. From 1945, it's The Enchanted Cottage, directed by John Cromwell. The title refers to a cottage in New England that seems to hold some sort of magic for couples in love. For this reason, it's usually rented out to honeymooners, but following the war, a soldier returns to the cottage to hide out. He was disfigured in battle and wants to retreat from the world, but he befriends and then falls in love with the homely housekeeper. And in love, the two become beautiful. Screenwriters DeWitt Bodine and then Herman Mankiewicz adapted this script from a 1922 play written by Sir Arthur Wing Pinero. The original play had featured a World War I veteran and was designed to be a sweet bit of emotional salve for soldiers and their families following the First War. The play was a hit in the West End and on Broadway and was adapted into a silent film in 1924. There were rumours of a possible sound remake for many years, but another World War went by before producer Harriet Parsons, daughter of Luella, was able to get it greenlit at RKO Pictures. Cast in the two lead roles was Robert Young and Dorothy McGuire. This was the second time they had worked together following Claudia from 1943, which had been McGuire's film debut. And later, the two would star together in a sequel to Claudia called Claudia and David from 1946, and they both appeared together in a 1978 TV production of Little Women. They make a great pair. So from 1945, also with Herbert Marshall, Spring Byington and Mildred Natwick, Let's visit the Enchanted Cottage. When gossip columnist Sidney Skolsky wrote about Dorothy Maguire, he said she was an actress who can best be described as different. Maguire, Skolsky said, didn't fit into the usual categories of leading lady or glamour actress, but was a definite asset to any movie she's in. And while I still have a hard time believing Dorothy Maguire to be ugly in The Enchanted Cottage, she was very happy to lean into the idea, requesting to wear plain, ill-fitting costumes and not wear makeup or have her hair done. And the costume designer Eddie Stevenson had a smart idea for the scenes where Maguire's character is beautiful. He created two sets of costumes, one that didn't fit properly and one that did. Meanwhile, Robert Young's scarring was achieved with makeup effects and he was very fond of this film. In an interview with Leonard Moulton from 1986, Young said The Enchanted Cottage was a joy to do, calling it the best love story that's ever been written. And Young also named his house in California The Enchanted Cottage in its honour. We have another love story coming up on TCM with Natalie Wood and Warren Beatty starring in a drama from 1961 directed by Ilya Kazan. Don't go away. I'll be back before you know it.